Uh, hi. And welcome to another episode of the Zoomers 4. Sorry for the repeat intro. The fourth episode of which will bring us a quarter of the way to 100. I'm just waiting for Darren to pop on. It should be here soon. And then the real chatting can begin. Yeah, there was just like an error with the sound. Apparently I had not joined with the computer audio. Problem solved. Now though. And a good thing too, I might just add. I know, I'm not normally one for sitting here pulling freaky faces. I apologize. Most humbly. Now, while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna get something else started. Downloads. Yeah, there you go. Well, it is only 9.32. And he did say 10 o'clock. Well, recurring meetings, they really, they should start when I'm ready to start them. And, you know, so I have, and now I'm just waiting. Go to channel content, all the brilliance. So how have you guys been since the previous episode? Has it only been a week since we've done that? Or slightly over that but you know it's still polite to ask how you're doing because i'm good like that Although I can't seem to think of a way that I'm not good. And I don't want to know of a way, so please don't tell me.
No, 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 no. I did not mean to do that yet. I normally mean to do those. Well, when I'm ready to. And when I say do those, I mean download. And that is normally when I have every video I, I intend to download for the day on the downloader. So he's not yet ready. Yeah, that's down to my mistake of only starting to download when I only had a few videos on the downloader. And that is it. Trying, of course, not to download, uh, not to delete the actual video.
and he's ready. Here he comes, guys. Hey. It's good to be back. It is. And wow. It's, a good, it's an incredible notion in mind as well. Yeah. 25 episodes into the series as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, man. Couldn't have asked for any. Um, couldn't have put it any better myself. I Go mean, all the way your, to a hundred. This is your silver episode. Yeah. Which is um, it's brilliant. Still plenty oh, of time to go yet. Oh, definitely. Want to um, keep the Zoom meetings going for as long as I can. Yeah. Well, it makes me glad I didn't stop the Zoomers when I originally planned to. Yeah. <laughs> so. Be able to um, bring it back. And back again and again and again. Yeah. But with each series being as short as it is, we're probably likely not to reach 100 episodes of this thing until about series 15 or 16. <laughs> True. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just a rough estimate of the time it might take. That's why um, that's why the dog's never good at math. That was why the dog was never good at maths. What's that? That's why the dog was never good at maths. Why? Because it spent its life making rough estimates. Oh dear. Oh, Bambi. <laughs> so yeah. That would be correct. But there's another one. Um, what do you get if you cross a West Ham footballer around a mathematician? I have no idea. I'm forever making estimates. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so, the first episode of Kimberly Plotagon went up last night. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting the new shows in reverse order. You are? <laughs> well, in terms of, you know, but they're still going to be edited in, like, you know, compiled in the right order. Of course. Because what else, what else is there to do? And yeah, the first episode basically acts as a remake, sort of, of the first two episodes combined of the classic series. Pardon me. And they are now fully British. Nice. <laughs> That's always good. Indeed. But at least then if you had to work sink out that. Yep. Now what I've done is I moved all of my docks to the bottom. Ah. Where they back to where they originally are. Back to where you normally you'd expect it. Yeah. So in the case of my MacBook Air and I Mac, that was Big Sur, and on my MacBook Pro, that's Catalina. Yeah. Now all you need is a Dogalina. And that too. <laughs> so 
and maybe a mouthalino. Yeah. Oh dear. There's so many awful honolinas. But wouldn't um but then wouldn't you um get semolina? That's a food item. Yeah. I've never eaten it. I think I've tried it once. <laughs> Although I did bung um, some sweetened condensed milk in the microwave once to make caramel. Caramel. <laughs> um, which did work. Uh huh. But it took seven hours of microwaving time and seven hours of stirring it. It never it, did. It, so it took seven minutes in the microwave and I had to stir it for another seven minutes. Never. Oh, for yeah. what? But then um, the first time you put it in the microwave for one minute and then it's 30, and then you didn't spare it to 30 seconds after that. You don't. It was a bit too sweet for my liking. It isn't. <laughs> you know, you can salt it. Salt of caramel. Yeah, that that is a thing. Yeah, I know. I've, I've had some. I've had some salted caramel ice cream. Maybe perhaps I could have. I should have done that with the sweetened condensed milk. I mean. Someone with you? No, I just decided to let one rip. <laughs> Beg your pardon, good sir. I did excuse myself. <laughs> I know. I just felt like saying e that. Yeah. I love the smell that's on my jumper. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, Auntie Jenny, when um when I was with my just before I went up to my mum's, Auntie Jenny would uh, would would come up and or when I was with my, when I was with my mum, Auntie Jenny would come up and do some of my washing for me. Yeah. And um my jumper smells nice and fresh. Mm. You better wash out. You better not die. You better not. <laughs> uh, no, you better wash up. You better not dry. You better not. <laughs> don't know what to use as a replacement for pout. Okay. <laughs> you better hang up. I'm telling you why. <laughs> um, a clothes ferry is coming to town. They don't exist. Anyway. <laughs> Despite the fact I've got a, a fairy goddess in the plot of us and I'm writing a series of stories set in a world of fairies. Right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now, all I'm those just... literal fairy tales. <laughs> I think what I might do while I'm out, if I can, Poundland is open, which is good. 
I might see if I can get another mouse pad. Mm. Because at least then it'll protect my mouse. Well, yeah. Lewis beat me to the arranging things with you for today. Otherwise, I would have snapped you up. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know that was what you had planned. No, oh, might have been a last minute thought. Then we wouldn't have needed to worry about tomorrow so much. I mean, Donna doesn't mind dropping me off to you. Um, no, she really doesn't. No, it turns out that I wasn't friends with Jess on Facebook. I had to add her as a friend yesterday and send her my birthday greetings. Did she accept your friend request? I don't know. I haven't looked. I've also requested a friendship with Donna, but I'm not expecting her to accept. No. No. Uh, your dad and Liam Gennore accepted my friend request. Well, I'm not surprised where, as far as my dad goes. But no, I haven't had an acceptance from Jess yet. No, yeah, my dad thinks very highly of you. Doesn't everyone. Says to me, every, time I talk, every time I mention you, <laughs> he's always uh, he's always turned around and said I I have all the I have a lot of time for James. You know he's a nice he's a nice person. Yeah. Everything. Uh, well, he seems very highly of you. I've always preferred him over your mum as a parent. But the one thing that did surprise my mum was when you accepted her friend request. Yeah, well, she's a member of your family. I don't think it would have gone down too well with you if I didn't. You, you know. But then again, to be perfectly honest, I was half expecting you not to either. Ah. Um, so I was surprised as well. But then I thought, you know what? You're the type of person that'll give anyone a chance. Mm. Despite, yeah, despite the feelings we all have about your mum here, but let's not get into that. You know, let's not get into that here. Because that's not what the Zoomers is about. It's not an agony on video. And it's not. And I wouldn't so, be an agony on. I'd be an agony uncle. Yeah, and you'd. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. It's not the type of person that we rant about someone's mum. No. Well, no, we've got King of the Ranters in our friendship circle. Yeah. But this isn't slag your friends off either. No. Lewis is a friend. We shouldn't talk about him like that. I'm just, no, going to wait until um, I've had my second dose of vaccination and he's had at least one dose before I see him again. No, we'll end up socially distancing. I just want to be safe. I don't think it's safe for me to go out and meet him again yet. So, you know. No, I'm going to um, get myself a couple of pre-packed sandwiches as well. Yeah. Well, well, because I've got no bread. Ouch. Ouch well, of a lecture. But I have got a food shop coming tonight, which has two loaves of bread in it. Yeah, well, I'll ask you to give Lewis more regards anyway. I will do.
and the same for Donna tomorrow. Will do. Uh, and Abby. I'm going to be speaking to Donna later on tonight anyway, because we need to make plans for tomorrow. Yeah. So. I could do that tonight. Oh, pardon me. And this yeah. show's also not about farting all the time on camera. Uh, of course, if anything changes on that side of things, you will let me know, won't you? Of course I would. But I don't think it would, though, because I haven't seen Donna for six months. No. Most members of my family I haven't seen in more than six months. So, and that's, you know, out of needing to stay safe, really, because it, obligation. <laughs> anyway, this is not a COVID report either. No. <laughs> Off that subject. <laughs> Well, I had, a, um, I had a bowl of cereal just before we came on. Yeah. So, um, so at least I could say I've had some breakfast. Yeah, I, I just don't like having, I don't, I just don't like eating first thing in the morning normally. I'm typically not a breakfast person either. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I prefer to break my fast in the well in the in the afternoon, either at noon or after it. Yeah. So what I call my lunch is actually my breakfast. But yeah, you know, <laughs> <it's> just. <laughs> or it could be a brunch. Well, it's my it's, a, it's my first meal of the day normally, so. I should call it by the correct name, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's when I choose to break my fast. Although technically, I, to fast means not to eat or drink, doesn't it? Um, but to fast means yeah, not. Normal, it means not to eat. Not to eat for two meals. Well, no, not to eat for one meal. Any length of time. I can't go two meals without anything to eat. I already went through that pain. Anyway. <laughs> this isn't um, a starving yourself episode either. No. While I was waiting for you to be ready to pop on, I was downloading videos and just keeping the chat going until, you know. <laughs> until I came on. Mm. Which um, wasn't too far. You weren't too far into that, I take it. Well, um, I, no, I started recording after I got off FaceTime with you. Uh -huh. well, I had to record the introduction segment twice because the first time there was no computer sound coming. There was an error. Uh -huh. So for all we know, this episode could be about 45 minutes long when we see it on YouTube. So probably. And it just, it just depends on what we talk about, really. And given the fact that I had a long introduction segment. Yeah. Which is normally how these tend to go, so.
but at least I came on almost um, mm. straight away. It took a bit of a while this time because I was having, um, I was doing myself some cereal. Mm. You're a cereal killer. And that's a that's a multi brain shake. Oh, you had some multi brain shapes. Oh, yeah. And that too. Only talking. Woo. <laughs> Just glad that we were able to get this show on the road. Oh, yeah. There will be a Zoomers 5, guys. You can be sure of that. That we will be. I'm just um, fiddling about with my fingers. <laughs> Absolute only. As if I'm turning the word absolutely into a name. <laughs> Pardon me. A very Irish sounding name. Yes. <laughs> When you get a name with O in it, in Irish, it means grandson or descendant of. Now, when um, <laughs> it was, I think it was along the lines of when Uncle Ken was born, his original name was O'Reilly. Yeah, that would have meant that he was a descendant of O'Reilly in Irish. And then it just and then it just became Riley. You like you know how you get the names with the sun suffix. Yeah. And how those originate is the person with the sun name is the son of another person. So if it's Robertson, it's the son of Robert. Example. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least that's what Wendy said anyway, that um, when Uncle Ken was born, he was originally a no Riley. And now he's just a Riley. Yeah. Pardon me? Indeed. Like Frank O'Reilly, who founded Daniel's dad shop, that you know, Daniel Cooper, his dad shop. Oh, yeah. F O'Reilly. Frank. Yeah, I've what, been in what there. the F stands for. Frank O'Reilly. He was the founder of that shop. I've been in there a few times. So have I. I went in there looking for Daniel once, only to find out he wasn't working in there that day. I went looking for him. <laughs> this is uh, this has been a very interesting episode. Definitely. There's plenty more to come. Oh, definitely. Now, I'm trying to work out what videos I'm going to make. That is up to you. So, um, yesterday I did three episodes of the analysis of Mac OS X. Mm -hmm. And then I did five episodes of the history of Windows. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I can think of at least one person who definitely wouldn't have any interest in those videos if you were to talk to him about them. Yeah. I might act as if I'm not interested, but I'm actually thinking, oh, that's interesting. 
I'll just don't say it out loud. <laughs> so. Because <laughs> obviously IT was one of my favorite lessons at, at, at Glenwood. Yes, it helped. It was being taught by one of my favorite teachers there. So. Right. He was one of my favourites. Mark Bradley. Well. <laughs> he was one of my favourites as well. Did you know he gave me a computer before, um, on the day that I left school? He gave me a, he gave me a computer as a leaving gift. Yeah, you told me. I was Mrs. This Kirk's most favourite pupil. No, he told me not to tell anyone. So when I took it on the coach back home, in the end, um, Charlie Smith it was, um, then said, um, if you don't tell me, I won't be your friend anymore. So in the end, he kind of forced it out of me. Yeah. Well, that was his, him being ridiculous. But yeah, so he forced it out of me. Because you shouldn't tell people what you were told not to tell them. No, I wasn't going to. It concerns me, Mr. Prattley shouldn't have given you a school computer. It that could have lost him his job if people, old, if the school had found out. It was an old, it was an old computer. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a school computer. Ah. As such. It was an old one that he had. That, it was an old one that he gave me. Mm. Yeah. But with that, he also gave me a fresh copy of Windows 98. Oh, that old thing. Because <laughs> that was that type of computer that had Windows 98 on it. Yeah, that old thing. Which, believe it or not, that's the next series of the history of Windows. Yeah. Well, there's quite a few projects of yours you need to get back to. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. I know I need to get back to my Windows partition because there's an update. I think there's an update waiting. Yeah. Uh, that's not a project, is it? So. <laughs> but I've also got some other bits I need to get back to as well. Yeah. Indeed. I stuck my washing in on a 10 hour delay because I ended up putting it in the washing machine at about one o'clock in the morning. Do I then put it on an hour, on a 10 hour delay? So you would have been up when no, episode 105 of the Midnight Project was released. Yeah. At midnight. And then the year four, you were probably, a, if you haven't watched it yet, you wouldn't have heard the strange conversation between me and John. No. About leaving a present in the toilet. But anyway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was unavoidable. He didn't know I was recording when he came in. So. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. <laughs> right. Um, but it isn't as bad as me telling Maxine about some of the places with weird names here in England. There's loads of weird place names. I mean, there was, um, there's a few in Yorkshire that I can think of. One of them is Wunwell. It's not as weird as Butthole Road, which is here there's in England, all... uh, which is in the south of England. Yeah, and, um, uh... It's not as bad as a place called Wetwang. Where um where some of my ancestors come from. Oh dear. You're a wetwanger. <laughs> <laughs> But 
and then you've got Cockermouth all the way up in um, in Cumbria. Oh my god, that is so perfect! <laughs> Cockermouth, Cumbria. <laughs> I swear, these episodes get unintentionally dirty-minded. <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go. Yeah. Just so you know, we're talking about weird place names, guys. This is not Wednesday weirdness, as far as I'm aware. Because we're on the wrong day for it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is still tr it's still interesting to talk about. It is. You know? And I've already covered a topic on Wednesday weirdness about weird names. It was a very early episode. Yeah, did you mention uh, Cockermouth and Cumbria? I mentioned that in that. Did I? The fact that I reacted to you telling me about that just now would mean I didn't cover it in that video. <laughs> I didn't even know about it until now. <laughs> Uh, and well, now we wonder why was, uh, funny people names I was covering. And then we wondered how, um, why Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby weren't able to keep a straight face when they had to mention Cockermouth. Cock in mouth. Cumbria. They would have to put a place called Cockermouth in a place with cum in its name. <laughs> it's, that's why it's such a perfect fit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. But Amy told me about that one because she used to live in Cumbria. Oh. Where, um, where Carlisle is. Yeah, that's where you'd find Carlisle. Yeah. And I've been to Carlisle. Cumbria. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also but, uh, Cumberland as well. Oh, cute Cumberland. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Is that where cucumbers come from? <laughs> Cucumberland. <laughs> yeah. I wonder where is Cumberland? Well, I think it's like in the northwest of England. Because I think you're either getting confused with that or it's Northumberland. No, there is a place called Cumberland in the like like in the northwest, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking of Northumberland. Where you'd find uh, Berwick upon Tweed. In Northwest. England. <laughs> yeah. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's oldest kid. North. Northwest. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrities, they always give their kids the weirdest names. Yeah. I never uh, heard. American celebrities, more specifically. <laughs> but then there's this type of rain gear that also lent its name to a computing system, uh, to a series of computers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Macintosh. Yup. 
Hey. Yeah. But then the Macintosh was made by a company named after a fruit. Apple. Yeah. So. You know, um, with the releases, with all the releases prior to Mac OS X Jaguar, when you turn the computer on, you're greeted with something called a Happy Mac. Hmm. That's because it it's happy to see you. And it was only um, it then became a sad Mac when you when it crashed. Uh, well, I'll be happy to crash with you. And then. Um, and then with the release of Jaguar, then got replaced with the Apple logo. Yep. Which underwent quite a few different designs before it had the one they stuck with. Which is the one with the, with the bike mark taken out of it. Hmm. And the one you can imitate with a real apple. Because I did that in memory of Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was even a rainbow design of the Apple logo. Yeah. Steve Jobs. And running an electronics company was Steve's job. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, when we can start going out properly again, we should arrange something with Bailey. Mr. Bailey sponsors. Speaking of Steve. Um, yeah, when, um, when everything starts opening up, I'm going to go to an Apple store as well, because I do need to replace the battery in my MacBook Pro. Yeah. Because it's naff. Indeed. But it's not exactly naff, but it needs surfacing. Absolutely. But Nothing all MacBooks. Uh, yeah. All MacBooks following 2007 were all equipped with all were all equipped with a dual layered DVD burner. Yeah. And that was only because then the size of snow leopard, the size of snow leopard, the down, the size of the download, so, uh, what was it? I will get this right. The size of the disk image of snow leopard is just over six gigabytes. Yeah. So there's absolutely no way you were going to put that on a regular DVD. No. Hey, you would need dual layer. Yeah. Which is eight and a half gigabytes. Correct. I know because I've used sev I've used loads of them in the time I was burning stuff for DVD. Use dual layer. Yeah. So um, how did you manage to do that? Um, by buying dual layer discs and using a burning software to make them. But I mean, what did you, um, I mean, what, what did you use for it though? Um, uh, what my, did you use? Uh, my computer's disc, my, my, my computer's disc drive, the CD drive in that. I didn't even know that that was a dual layer DVD burner. Oh yeah. Hello. What's going on? Uh, it's my mum coming in to say good morning. <laughs> Tell her good morning for me as well, please. Yeah. This protective and to be fair, I never tell her when I'm going to be doing one of these. So, 
Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Don't let go. Wow. Good thing this case is hard to get off. Look at that. We've been we've been at this for 50 minutes. I've been on it for 43. Well, I've been recording since half past nine, basically. So, uh, ah. yes, yeah, so, <laughs> I couldn't wait. <laughs> Oh, come on. So well, that, will, that will explain why I can't get Big Sur on my MacBook Pro. No, because you've got... Because it requires at least a late 2013 model. And because you've got Little Madam on it instead. No. <laughs> There's no such thing, guys, by the way. I just, I just made that joke every time he mentions Big Sur now. <laughs> I think I'm yeah. the only one who finds it funny, so I'm an epic fail. <laughs> anyway, guys. Before things get too um, struggling. We are going to call it here for this episode. But join us in the next one. Next week. Until then, we are zooming out. We are indeed. And, oh, if you like what you're seeing, guys, feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. For any future notifications on videos from this channel. And until then, see you in the next we'll video.